The Kwewu Easter Paragliding Festival attracts Ghanaians and foreigners alike for four days of spectacular aerial fun and adventure. But what is worrying is how much Ghana spends to invite foreign tandem paragliding pilots for the annual festival. Concerns are rife as to why the nation cannot invest more in the sporting activity, knowing very well the enormous revenue generated annually from the sport. Even though Kwame Eduapia has some basic skills about paragliding, he's under a two-year training to become a tandem pilot. He admits how challenging it has been funding such education. It's actually a very, very expensive sport and um, it's uh, time consuming as well. So it's, it's a jealous venture. I mean, if, if you want to do it in a short period of time, you've got to invest the time, you've got to invest the money and then you can do it quick. Otherwise, it could take you close to about 10 years. He recounts how some investment he has made has gone down the drain. If we have investors, if we have people, the government, we have private people willing to sponsor us, um, we wanted to open a paragliding school as far back as 2017. Um, the GTA sponsored a three-day introductory training of which I was part, but um, it hasn't continued because of funding. We have solo and tandem pilots. The solo pilot flies alone and cannot carry a passenger whereas the tandem pilot can carry a passenger. Intense training and more flying hours qualifies one to be a tandem pilot. There have been talks about the establishment of a training school, but that is yet to be fulfilled. Lead pilot from the United States of America, Ed Stein says, government can do better. I would like to tell them that we should increase the budget. It's gone to tourism, with the emphasis on tourism. And I can bring people from around the world this is one of the most fabulous places to fly in the world and we've flown basically around the world it's very consistent it's very easy flying safe flying as safe as we can make it and it'd be great to have more tourism here in all these the ghana tourism authority is upbeat about the advancement of the sporting activity but express corporate ghana in assisting government we've had conversations with the pilots and we're trying to train Ghanaians on board. Uh, they located a place at the Shai Osudeku area. Currently we, ha we have one tandem pilot who can fly commercially. Uh, we also have one, two more. They are also solo pilots. Hopefully by next paragliding they, they will also become tandem pilots. The sole Ghanaian pilot, Jonathan Kwe, adds his voice to the need to train more pilots. Oh, it's good. If you have more pilots, it's very good. It's very good for the tourism industry. It's very good for so it's very good for everyone. With 950 Ghana cities, you could be flying the skies with the birds. I'm told this is an expensive adventure. It takes between 15 and 20 minutes in air. And so if you're in the I think you should try your hands at this very adventure. This year's festival has seven pilots from countries including USA, Colombia, Peru and Japan. These tourists from Norway had their first experience in Ghana, although they could have done that in their home country. We have paragliding in Norway. Yeah. We do. But I didn't really know what it was. Yeah. But now I'm here. I'm trying it today. <laughs> but looking at the height, are you not scared about it? Uh, yes, a little bit. I'm nervous. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous of the takeoff. I think it's scary. But I think it will be beautiful once you, when you fly. Yeah. Very nervous. Not going to lie. I, uh, I'm scared that I will trip and fall. <laughs> but it will be fun. So what memory will you take along with you when you go back to Norway? Oh, uh, from Ghana. I love the music and I love how happy people are and welcoming. So it's very nice. In Norway, people are more like uh, reserved. So I really like that about Ghana. Some Ghanaians were excited about the adventure. Um, the experience was quite exciting. Um, this is my first time and yeah, <laughs> I'm, actually, I, I'm actually out of... Um, I, I don't know. I don't know how to express myself. Yeah. <laughs> any time, any day, I'll I'll be in Peru for this park lighting event here. Yeah. It's actually on my bucket list. So I started saving since secondary school to do this. <laughs> I started saving since secondary school. I'm telling you to come to Peru. You know the TNT and then the fair for the paragliding itself. The sporting activity has transformed Easter celebrations in Ghana into an international event. This is where the adventure ends, right here at the Nkoko Park. And as you can see, indigents all over, especially kids, trying to catch a glimpse of the activity. So after 15 to 20 minutes in air, the tandem pilot 
lands with the passenger at the park and so from here the glider the passenger and the pilot are transported back to the starting point it's a great experience if you ask me but it'll be a greater feeling if we have more Ghanaians as tandem pilot time will tell with the right investment Josh Crane in TV3 News Kwehu Eastern Region